Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout, and I am back with another video. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate Basher build out with me. As you can see, I've made a few changes. It looks a bit different. I actually mounted up my cheap Summit Link Baja bug body. I also put on these 2.8 inch Power Hobby Rooster uh, belted tires. Um, they are paddle tires. And I had to raise up my ProLine body mount system so we have enough clearance to run these huge 2.8 inch tires because when the suspension compresses, it could still come in contact with the body. But this is basically a monster slash at this point. A Baja bug monster slash. Looks pretty sweet. I think this is the first time I've ever mounted this big of tires on my slash 4x4. Now, if you are not familiar with the whole Ultimate Basher build, I highly recommend you check it out from start until now. Starting off as a VXL high center gravity 4x4 model, done a ton of upgrades to it. I will leave a card in the corner for the entire playlist, but a quick rundown. Uh, this is the second power system I put in it. The previous power system that I was running was a 4S capable power system from Castle. Uh, now I basically got a rebranded Hobby Wing system in. This is actually the system out of the Red Cat Kaiju. That's their 1A scale monster truck. It's 150 amp ESC combined with a 4268 2100 kV brushless motor. Also, since the last video, I re-geared it. I was previously running a 13-tooth pinion combined with a 54-tooth spur. I geared it up to a 16-tooth, and I'm still running that 54-tooth spur gear. Other goodies this has, it's got the GTR shocks off the Slash 4x4 Ultimate. It's also got the center diff out of the Traxxas Haas. RPM rear and front bumpers, RPM suspension arms, steel drive shafts. It's got the low center gravity conversion kit from Traxxas. Uh, let's see, last video I lost the little plug, the little rubber plug that goes in here, I lost. So I just uh, taped it up with some duct tape. Hopefully we can keep the snow and the water from getting in there. But um, if I didn't mention where I'm at, I'm actually at a semi-local beach. It might not look like I'm in the sand because it's completely covered in snow, but I guarantee these are gonna dig in and you will see sand shooting everywhere. But either way, we are prepared for sand or snow with these paddle tires. So let me go ahead, get a four cell pack hooked up and we are going to jump rate this bashing video should be a heck of a lot of fun alrighty guys I got her all powered up so it is time to rock and roll here we go Oh, this thing is going to be a hoot. I'm looking forward to it. I just hope nothing breaks. This is Ultimate Basher build, so the whole premise of the project is to create the Ultimate Basher. So if we do break something in this video, that just uh, exposes another weakness that I'm going to have to upgrade. Let's start her off with the launch. I'll try to stay out of the sun. Ready, get set, and go! Oh yeah, we're digging down to the sand a little bit. Boy. Do a couple flybys and then we're gonna go right to jump in this thing. Don't wanna run in the tree. It still really wants to pull a wheelie, even with this, uh, even with these huge tires. Let's get another launch in real quick. Ready, get set, and go! That's awesome. Maybe I should convert this over a Monster Slash. What do you guys think? I don't know, most of the time I like it as a short course truck though. This is probably just a one-time thing, but it does look pretty crazy. 
We'll see once we start jumping it whether these uh, tires come in contact with the body. I have a feeling they're going to come in contact with the body a little bit. But hopefully not terrible. Just wheel stands. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to show your support by uh, giving this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. And if you do, make sure to hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I do come out with new videos because I uh, post on a very, very regular basis and you don't want to miss out on new content. Have a lot of big plans coming. All right, here's our jumping spot. Let me get in position and we're gonna get started jumping. All right, time to jump, here we go. Wonder how well these will cushion. Starting off easy. Wow, that flew way further than I thought. Alright, building up some speed. Basically made it to the rock wall. Fortunately with the RPM bumpers, I'm not super worried about bumping into it or landing on it, but we could still potentially break something because um, it's pretty chilly out. Let's get a flyby. Spin around right there. Nobody down here, so we are good for a pass. Here we go. And I'm pinned. She's rowdy. Pinned. Nice little backflip. Give that a thumbs up. Maybe a double? Nope. Nope, double is not going to happen on that one. I am pinned. It's hard to gauge how fast it's going out here since it's so barren and there's nothing really to compare it to. Nailed it. These big tires it backflip so easily. Uh oh, did we break something? No, what broke? That rear wheel's dangling. Oh no. We broke the RPM hub carrier. These RPM hub carriers in this cold weather, they're letting me down. That is a major bummer. I want to get some more bigger jumps in, but that's what happens sometimes. Well, I got my bag back over here. Let me check real quick, see if I have another hub carrier. If not, I'll close the video out, but either way, I'll be right back with you guys.
and I'm pinned. Oh, and the wheel fell off. Well, I guess I can confirm the uh, RPM hub carriers are better than the stock Traxxas ones because these completely snapped. Bummer. Well, this is going to officially mark the end of this video. If you did enjoy uh, this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for future videos. Later.